Hey guys, this is Courtney, and today I'm coming to you shoot you another video. And today's topic is about how to quit your job and become an entrepreneur in 2018. So stay tuned, and I'm going to go over a list of steps on how you can quit your job and become an entrepreneur starting today. So lately I've been getting some emails from some of you guys. Um, you know, you work your nine to five, and you're like, you know what, Courtney? You know, I don't like my job or um, I'm trying to leave it soon. Like, how, how do I transition to becoming an entrepreneur? Or, and then I've gotten some questions too from, from some of you where it's like, you know, I still want to keep my job going, but how can I make extra income um, just from home, you know, on top of my job? So I have a list of steps that um, both both um, if you want to become an entrepreneur fully or if you just want to make some extra income from home online. Um, I got a list of steps that I'm going to go over with you guys. So basically, first things first, it all starts with your mindset. So you got to have that entrepreneurial mindset to begin with. Like, So if you basically don't believe that you're capable of being an entrepreneur, then this basically is not for you. So you need to start transitioning from that nine to five mentality mindset to becoming an entrepreneur. And I think it can start with just, you know, some simple, some simple steps, like just, just going over the, over some things with yourself. Um, so let's, let's get back to, to going over the steps. So step one, um, I firmly believe that it's good to be debt free. Uh, I know it's hard for a lot of us. We live in a world where, you know, we spend so much money, you know, credit cards out like every chance we get. And but I think the best thing, the thing for you to start is just to be debt free. So first things first, you know, paying off all your debts if you can. Um, um, building up an emergency emergency fund, like making some minimum payments on credit cards or loans, whatever you have out there. I'm not saying like take money out now and sorry somebody keeps texting me i'm not saying like take a whole bunch of money out now and just pay off all your all your loans or your debt or anything like that but just start getting in the habit of just just paying the minimum and eventually just just you want to be debt free you don't want to have anything hanging from you or anything like that um so let's move on um step two start saving up money for the next three to six months and so this also goes back to having an emergency fund for yourself. Like, let's say my car breaks down or, you know, my one of, one of the kids is sick and, you know, you got, you, you look, I mean, there's going to be like hospital bills coming, like some, some type of emergency or maybe you got like death in the family or anything. Just start saving up those, those, those expenses just so you could just basically stay, afo stay afloat. Um, like I said, if you're trying to leave your nine to five, I would recommend just doing it like, boom, I quit. I'm about to start my business. Like, I mean, if you do, then you want to make sure you've got some money saved up just in case something could happen along the way. Or maybe I'm not just making income just yet. You know, it takes a while. It's not going to be an overnight success. It's going to take some time. So step number three, content, content. So if you want to be entrepreneur, start reading. Reading is for leaders. Like start following magazines, blogs. Um, start reading articles, um, buy books, everything that you can know, everything that you can um, learn about becoming an entrepreneur you want to do. So audio books, like, like if you're on your way to work, you know, pop in a, a um, CD and listen to an audio book. Podcasts are great. Like I follow like tons of entrepreneurs. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the, like the list of people that I got like one is um let's see real quick okay bear with me guys um freedom fast lane with Brian Rand I mean this guy's like awesome um who else do I have I also listen to NPR how I built this it's like a whole bunch of um entrepreneurs um like big industry entrepreneurs like Melissa and Doug for toys they got they got like a little skit on there um let's see who else i listen to two dope queens <laughs> they're comedians but they're also entrepreneurs so it's like stuff like that you can get like tips 
tips and whatnot, and it kind of gets you into that entrepreneurial mindset, how entrepreneurs actually think. Um, and then you kind of get in that mentality like, man, you know what? I can do this. If they can do it, like, I can do it. it, it it'll just take some time. So, and then you can start start asking yourself, like, what things can you start focusing on even more? Like, where's your passion at and stuff? Like, I listen, sometimes I'll, the podcast, just listen to the podcast alone, help me um, start thinking of, like, what do I really love to do? What are What am I passionate about? Then you, then you can start to like kind of narrow down your niche and what you really want to do. And I, I feel like if you've got something that you're passionate about, like let's say if it's like helping people and stuff, you can kind of tie that in with like coaching and personal development, but also become an entrepreneur in that space and start making money, money too. So, and then here, step four, it goes into with defining your passion, your skill, your pain point. So that's something that you really want to sit down and narrow down with. It's like, what's your passion? What's your niche? If you if you already find that, it makes being an entrepreneur so much easier. It's like you become to love it. And it goes beyond money at that point. So another thing, step five, is start off small and pre-sell your product or service. Make sure your idea is validated in the real world prior to building a business. Like building landing pages, using Google AdWords, pre-sell to people via like presentations and stuff. So this could be, I mean, even your friends, family, like, like, if you got, like, a physical project, you can be even a digital product. Like, I work more in a digital space. Like, start testing it out. Like, start seeing, selling that stuff. Start launching it. Like, you, there's ways you can do it. There's ways you can outsource online, too, to get help with that, with, with getting it off foot and getting it launched. So, step six, six, set a date, follow a plan, put it in work. You know, outline a, outline a plan based on your date so that you can quit your job. So... Let's say, or outline something so you can start making money money on it. Like, if you make, like, hey, I want to quit my job in 90 days, or I want to quit my job in six months or within a year, start mapping that out. Like, in one week, I want to complete this. In two weeks, I want to do this. In 30 days, I want to do this. So keep mapping it, mapping it out by days, by week, by month, up until that final day. And then, boom, it's golden. <laughs> so planning is really, really big here. So lay out everything for yourself. So step seven, see the boat before you jump off the dock. So once you pick up the momentum and you kind of got that itch to leave your job, like I said, don't don't just quit right away. You know, start start planning a little bit. <laughs> Actually planning a lot. Um, so think about your retirement. Um, like I, I have 401k and stuff like that. You know, so think about maybe you want to ensure that you have both the RA set up with the financial institution to aid in ongoing savings and stuff like that. Healthcare, make sure your healthcare is set. You know, if you if you have a spouse or whatnot, um, maybe um, you can get on their healthcare. Just basically start doing your research and stuff like that, or start kind of mapping out the finances for both for both of those. Like, how much is going to cost me each month for healthcare now, and what do I need to do for my retirement and stuff. So start planning ahead. And last but not least, take that leap. This is the last step, step eight. So enjoy this journey. Like, I know it could be very scary. It could be nerve wracking. Like, I know a lot of us were stuck. So we're still stuck in that, you know, that nine to five mentality. Like, and it'll be hard because that's all that we know. That's all that we know. So, so jumping in on print is going to be completely scary. But just think of all the freedom that you have. Think about your passions that you'll find when you're doing for yourself. I find that, you know, sometimes you don't get that just working, just a regular job. And there's nothing wrong with working nine to five. There's nothing wrong with it. But a lot of times I feel like it's not just for everybody. Um, some people just aren't fulfilled just in that, you know, and they're not working in their passions enough. enough. So take the leap, create your life, enjoy the freedom, just, just do it. But make sure you have a plan set in place before you get there. Don't just take the leap like, boom, I quit tomorrow. I'm done. And then you end up failing later on if you get what I'm saying. So, all right, guys, that's it. Um, eight steps for you. Please replay this video so you can go through all eight steps. Make sure you didn't forget anything. And then, two, another thing, I got this document up for you. And I, what I'll do is copy the whole document and just stick it in the description box. But and then you can just reread it or whatnot. Or copy it for yourself. You can do that. But anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. I love shooting this video for you. I love talking to you guys. I love answering your questions. Shoot me an email. 
all my contact information is below. Subscribe to my channel. Like my page. Give me a thumbs up. And thanks for tuning in, guys. So I'll be shooting a video soon. And stay tuned. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.